Our Boomtown series continues with three affordable housing projects in every corner of the county. Phil Lindemann with Crystal 93 News. First, the economy is changing and Colorado's approach to higher education must change too before students get left behind. We want to make sure that we have more access for more students and more success for students, whether they're young or young at heart. That was Dr. Kim Hunter-Reed with the State Department of Higher Education. Earlier this year, the department released a new master plan for higher ed in Colorado, and it comes with lofty goals. Top of the list, Reed wants 66% of the population to have college credentials by 2025. It's a must-win forecast show that 75% of in-state jobs will require a degree by then. We have to push talent development, we have to have urgency, and we want to make sure that our citizens are ready as this economy continues to churn in a state that has the number one economy in the country. There are plenty of hurdles. Reed says the first and largest is affordability. Colorado is home to about 255,000 high schoolers, but only half can afford a college or technical degree. To bridge the gap, the new master plan makes way for more college and tech courses at public high schools. This past year, 38,000 high schoolers earned college credit before even applying for college. We've got to make sure that more people understand there's a pathway for them. These types of programs are already working at Colorado Mountain College. At the Rifle Campus, students spend four days in the classroom and a fifth day learning job skills. CMC is doing so many wonderful things. They have a Grow Your Own Education program that's helping us with our teacher shortage. Reed joins local representative Millie Hamner today for a town hall meeting about the state's higher education master plan. The event is free and open to the public, beginning at 5 p.m. at Colorado Mountain College in Breckenridge. Today in the Boomtown series, affordable housing for all. Right about now, 25 local families are hearing the news they've been waiting for. They are now homeowners in Summit County's newest affordable housing neighborhood. The lottery for West Hills near Keystone was held this afternoon, and those 25 duplexes are the first of 66 total units between now and 2020. West Hills is a long time coming and only the tip of the housing iceberg. As Colorado's population booms, so does Summit County's. The population here of about 31,000 has grown by 10% in just six years, and home prices are at a premium. A recent housing needs assessment shows the average home price is 150% higher than the average median income, while average rent jumped by 10% in 2015 alone. All of this means the majority of residents simply cannot afford to live here in the long term. I don't think it's any secret that um, housing is a real, uh, a real need across the county, all different income and economic levels. That was Randy Reedy, town manager for Frisco. Like Breckenridge, Silverthorne, and the county, Frisco is busy building affordable homes for the average Joe. The needs assessment calls for 500 units in the Copper and Frisco area alone, or about one-third of the 1,700 total units needed by 2020. In Silverthorne, the first new housing project in nearly a decade is on the horizon. The town holds an open house tomorrow for Smith Ranch, a 50-acre parcel west of Highway 9 in the shadow of Buffalo Mountain. It's been the site of two failed developments in the past, but since the town bought it in 2008, it has always been pegged for affordable housing. Town Manager Ryan Highland. That property has been uh, identified and, and really reserved for workforce housing for a number of years. Smith Ranch comes with 200 total units and will be built over several years. Highland says it is a mix of townhomes, duplexes, and single-family homes, and construction is scheduled to begin this spring. Like the Frisco projects, this one also came from the housing assessment. We know there, there are more needs than what we can currently fill, but I think this will take a big bite out of the apple at workforce housing in Silverthorne. The Smith Ranch open house is tomorrow from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. at the Summit County Library in Silverthorne. It is free and open to the public. I found my thrill on Blueberry Legendary rock and roller Fats Domino died earlier today. He was 89 years old. Fats sold 110 million records in his career, including the classic Blueberry Hill. He died of natural causes. Phil Lindemann with Crystal 93 News.